Hello, welcome back to the video, and today I want to discuss the fact that Day on 2 is just two months away. Under two months, actually. It's a month and... Um, un under two months. So, it is the weirdest thing possible, the fact that this game, it actually exists. Let alone it's coming out. Because I've been waiting for this game since... Jeez, 2014. Since that very first trailer. And I've always had it in the back of my head. Like, is, is it actually going to ever come out? I think from 2014 to 16, I was like full on ready for the game. Like, it's coming out guaranteed. And then 2017 to 20... Probably 20... Probably 2022... Is like when I honestly kind of gave up hope on Dead Island, too. From 2017 to 2022, I kind I full on gave up on this game, thinking it's never gonna come, and it it sucked for a long time because of how much I love these games. And then August 2022 happened, Gamescom. Down too came back from the dead, and it was like the weirdest time. And it's just, I still don't believe this game's actually coming. I'm still in the back of my head thinking this game's gonna get delayed again, it's gonna go away again, and we're gonna get another trailer in 10 years, like we did. But no, this game, the developers, I like what they've done. Ever since in August when they revealed this game was coming out, they have been non-stop hyping this game up. Non-stop. Through Game Informer, through PlayStation, and everything. They have made it where you cannot forget about this game now. And I am so happy about that. So, Down 2 is in a state where... It's guaranteed release April 21st, and I am so excited for this game. If you know me, um, Dead Island is my all-time favorite game of all time. It used to, it, Black Ops 1 held the record from, I think, a, a very long time. Black Ops 1 was my favorite, like, game of all time, but... Recently, I was thinking, because one of my friends made a comment saying, I'm surprised that Downed is not your favorite game of all time, considering how much you play it. You play it more than any game you own, and you say Black Ops 1 is your favorite, but you barely play it. He had a good point. He honestly did. So, Dead Island, this... I, and I don't think Downed and Dead Island Riptide are any different. So both of those combined are my favorite games of all time. They're both at number one for me. And I'm hoping with the sequel, Dead Island 2, uh, it comes up and it's... it's I, I want it to be like this. Where I have to think about the fact of with Dead Island and Riptide, those two going back and forth, like, which one do I like more? But... The answer is neither one. Because I think I like them both equally. There's no favorite amongst those two for me. I think that will always be the case. And I'm 100% fine with that. Because I think Dead Island is one of those game series like Ratchet and Clank for me. I can replay these non-stop. Without ever being bored. I think I will be playing Dead Island 2 non-stop when that game releases in April. I will record my first ever a play... Not first ever playthrough, though. I'm not going to stream the game start to finish. I might do a lot of streams on the game and videos on it. I'm already planning. But I, I don't want to have it as a game where I need... I can only play it when I'm on, a, on video. I will have that game 
available. I will be playing it whenever I feel like it. But I will, I will record videos here and there on it. I will record my first ever attempt at the game. I will record my reaction to the prologue. And that's about it, probably. From at the beginning of the game. And... And I just want the game now, honestly. I'm sick of waiting. I can't wait any... I've waited eight years for this game already. It's going to be nine soon. And it's just... I want it now, in a sense. Like, this game... For the longest time... It, it kind of disappeared. It didn't exist anymore. And it just kind of vanished in a sense but I've always thought about this game in the back of my head thinking what happened to Dead Island 2 and it will get revealed they've been showing trailers non-stop for this game I feel like every like every other day I'm getting a new down gameplay trailer if, even if it's like just showing off the characters they show more gameplay in those one minute 30 second trailers and it's like all new gameplay too and i've already m it's sad this too i've already memorized all the character names for the new game and the game's not even out yet and i swear i'm not looking at my phone or anything right now it's jacob amy ryan danny bruno and uh carla those are the six down two playable characters and I've already memorized all their names. And I am hoping, because Sam B is in this game. Sam B is so far the only confirmed returning character from the old Dead Islands. And I'm hoping, because they did say we are getting D DLC for Dead Island 2. We're getting a DLC season, which what I'm hoping for is I want them to show us what hap- I want to play a Sambi and I want it to show us like what happened after Dead Island Riptide because before I say it spoiler warning if you want to not hear it but at the end of Riptide what happened was um they kind of got on the boat and they sailed away into the sunset in a sense I know it sounds cheesy and weird, but that's in a sense what happened. And but there are zombies on the boat, and they got attacked, and the game ends. So you never really found out exactly what happened to them. In our for the longest time, we thought, oh, they got on the boat, they got attacked, they got killed. But that can't be the case if Sam B's alive. Think about it. If, or if they killed off all the others, but I, and just brought back Sam B due to, in my opinion, Sam B is the most popular character in this franchise, without a doubt. I think Sam B is the most popular Dead Island character. It's like everybody knows him, without a doubt. I think Sam B is most popular, without a doubt. So I feel like that's one of the, also the reasons why they figured bring him back. And I hope he's not just there. I think he's going to be like one of the characters that gives you missions. I feel like you're going to have missions to do for him. Which I think one of the cool things they could do, possibly, with Sam B's missions is... Maybe it's like uncovering what happened at after that boat. After the boat trip in Riptide. That could be cool missions for like the original Dead Island players like me. Like that have always wondered like are they all dead and like what happened on that boat after Riptide. I feel like either give us DLC for Sam B where you play as him or you give us story missions like side quests from Sam B that he, where he explains what happened to the rest of them because I can't I can't get over the fact of they just 
bring Sam B back and they don't mention what happened to the others. So I'm hoping we get some backstory and some connections between Riptide and Dead Island 2. Not much for the original because the original and Riptide kind of, they're pretty much, I already finished up with the original. I just you just need to patch up the down in this one and it's just we need I we need that from them like saying like oh this is what happened and either just say they all died which yeah that sucks or maybe like they're hiding them and they only want to show Sam B maybe like all of them will show up eventually in their own missions like maybe you get Sam B at the very start of the game and then you get Logan halfway through the game like something like that so and then you, it's I feel like they could do that like throughout the story they they reveal more of the original cast and I think that would be a good way of like paying respects to the original from 2011 so it's not forgotten so I feel like if they want to make this the best zombie game like ever, they can't just ignore like the originals. So I just I hope we get that. You know, but I don't want to just talk about that, but also I am I already know that when I do do videos on this game I will probably get demonetized or not demonetized like striked or something because YouTube I found out does not like Dead Island early on in YouTube when I was you it, it's gotten better but back then when I used to play this game like every single Dead Island video I did was just getting flagged for being too violent and based on how the new one looks e yeah I think the safest bet will be it will probably happen again and I'll be honest here I have no interest in censoring anything so yeah it's just I have no interest in censoring anything we're down to I'm not censoring anything so, I just, I, I want to play this game how it's meant to be played. I don't want to have to censor anything about this game. Right when this game comes out in April, I am playing it exactly how it is. If they have an option to turn off the gore, or like turn it down a tad bit, I will not be doing that. I, I want to make that clear. I will not be doing anything like that because you cannot tell me after waiting for this game since 2014 that I can just turn off the gore and play a non-violent Dead Island game. No. No, that's not how it works, YouTube. I'm playing the most violent... I'm playing this game in the most violent way I can. If I can turn that up, I'm turning it up. If anything. Because. A Dead Island game is supposed to be like this. Which is supposed to be like heavily violent. So. Yeah. And I am just. Every day I think about. The fact of. This game is still coming out. And it's just weird. To me. Uh, let me throw that. And I'm playing the original Dead Island right now while talking to you guys. And I've been, no joke, I played this game. I beat this game twice in the same week. And I'm about to beat it a third time. And it's kind of ridiculous. So, and I, that also kind of shows how obsessed I am and how much I like this game. We're going to beat it three times in the same week, pretty much. Dang, I feel bad that she trapped in the cage. I found the 
No. Not yet, at least. And I'm one other thing I want to address here. I'm hoping that Dead Island 2. I'm hoping Dead Island 2 has no connection to Escape Dead Island. I want them to act like that game does not exist. Because, yeah. Dead Island 2. I know Escape Dead Island connects to the originals, Riptide and the, well, not so much Riptide though, but more, it connects more to the original than anything from 2011, because they talked about, like, Bonoy and stuff, what happened here, but it still kind of connects to Riptide, but not, not as much. But I hope they kind of act like escape doesn't exist. Because if I'm being honest here, Escape Dead Island is the only Dead Island game I actually never beat. Because I hate that game. I'm trying to wait for that audio clip to stop. Where do we go again? Oh. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. I'm listening to the audio. I don't know if you got... Yeah, you guys should be able to hear it. But, um... I want no connections to Escape Dead Island at all, because that game should just that game should just be deleted, honestly, like and act like it doesn't exist, because that's how I act with that one. I liked Rip Died and I liked the original. I even like Retro Revenge. Escape I don't like at all, and I have no interest really in ever. Attempting to beat that one because of how much I dislike it. So I actually did attempt recently to play it again because I haven't played it in like several years. Like hoping it would be better and like my opinion changed on it or something. But if I'm being honest to you, my opinion with that one kind of got worse over time. It, it, it got, it didn't get better at all. I actually kind of hate Escape Down more because of it's it's a weird reason though, but it's a reason because if we didn't have to wait so long for Down Two, Escape Down would not have been made because they made them at the same time. But I got nothing else I want to talk about, so I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next one.